What's up, folks? It's your boy Bob Hollywood back with another exciting review. Today's review is going to be of this Mattel Buzz, excuse me, Lightyear, not Buzz Lightyear, just Lightyear from the film Alpha Class Series Izzy Hawthorne. And I believe the Alpha Class Series is to distinguish between this fuller six inch figure versus the smaller, I want to say five inch or four inch figures. I bought this from. Where did I buy this from? I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh, I bought this from uh, Burlington Coat Factory. I went in there to look for some pants. So this might be the the cheapest figure we've ever reviewed on this on this channel, or the least expensive. Not cheap. I actually do kind of enjoy the quality of these figures. I have her. I have a Buzz Lightyear. I bought. I can't think of her name right now. I bought the old lady when I bought this, but I have, I think, her grandmother and a version of Buzz Lightyear that I got off of Facebook Marketplace some time back. But anyway, on the, on the side, we see more art for Izzy. It says Alpha Class. On the other side, it says the company's name, Disney Pixar Lightyear, and it's just a continuation of this front art. The top... Lightyear, Izzy Hawthorne, showed you the bottom. On the back, it has her with her full kit and a uh, bio of the series, not necessarily a bio of the character. It says, the Alpha Class series celebrates the adventures of Buzz Lightyear and the Star Command crew. These collectible figures feature premium portability and film accurate details to bring, to bring the epic journey to life. And then over here it says, premium posability. And this was retailing for $24.99. Distributed by Disney theme park, so maybe this was a theme park exclusive, and somehow Burlington got their hands on it. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just gonna break her out of there, her plastic prison. I'll be right back. And just like that, I am back from freeing her from her plastic prison. She comes with three accessories. One is this blade that looks like it's made out of partial energy. There's a peg on there. Let's see where it would peg on to. Maybe her back? That's the only place where I see a hole so far. So yeah, I'm assuming it'll peg onto her back. And it has double jointed elbows. Can she reach it? She can almost reach it. It seems a little short, so she can't quite reach it. But that's the only place where I see where it would peg. Let's see how it fits into her hand. She doesn't have interchangeable hands, so I would imagine it would fit into at least one of her hands. And it's in her right hand here. It also fits into her left hand. I think it fits slightly better in her right hand, but it stays in both. And I believe her hands are the same. So that's good. That's a sword. I'm not going to reattach it to her back. I'm just going to put her back and I'm going to move that to the side. Let's look at the gun. First, I wasn't sure how she should hold the gun. And I had thrown the recycling away, like away from me. So I couldn't look on the back of the picture again. Let's see if I'm correct in how I assumed. I think it's like this. I think. I mean, she's holding it. She can't really get any, do anything dynamic with it besides look intimidating. She does have double jointed elbows, so that is good, I suppose, but she can't really do anything with this because she's also bulky. That's actually a cool looking weapon. It's got some writing on it. it tells you what, how you would use it if you were in the world. Like you'd load the sides. It's got the numbers on it. It's got Batman logo there. I know that's not a Batman logo. It just looked like a Batman logo. And I'm going to keep holding her. And I thought this helmet just popped on her head. But when I looked at it, I see that there's a peg there. So that must mean her head should come off relatively easily. 
and it did the peg goes on there easily easily e huh. I don't know how to pronounce that word all of a sudden but I know when I pronounced it the first time it sounded weird so yeah that's cool she has an extra hit accessory and that makes sense Put her regular head back on. Yeah. I think she looks pretty cool. So like I said, she's bulky. She has a lot of armor on. And some of it looks like it's like piecemeal. Like, I think this part, this is 42. This Jackie Robinson number. That part should be there. Then I feel like this shoulder pad and this gauntlet may have been replacements because even this shoulder pad's over that salmon color. But either way, she looks good. She's very bulky. You can see there's a pink knee here where it's a more darker sand color there. No peg holes. But um, yeah, I mean, most of the stuff is molded. But there is some paint. Like this is molded in brown, but you can see the number 42 painted. Same thing up here. Paint it. Paint across the chest. Paint on the back of the hands. Paint on the buckle. More painting down here. Not very much, but there is some paint on these two, but nothing on the else on the loop. Yeah, there's opportunity for more paint, but this is a $25 figure for kids. They weren't going to, like, go ridiculous. They weren't going to paint the pouches and everything on the belt. and You know what I mean? They gave us some. They gave us a silver buckle here. They gave they gave us some. And there's even some on the back. It could have been more on the back. There's nothing really on the back other than that. But they did give us some. Let's look at her further. Sorry about that. I was about to lose uh, storage space. Happened to notice. But yeah, her eyes, she's got these big old saucer eyes. I wish I had the other character near me to compare her to. But she looks like a cartoon. Here's cool. Let's go over her articulation. I think we're ready for her articulation. It starts there. Not much back or forward, and it's not going to do any rotating really with the afro puffs at the back. But as you saw, there's no motion there, there's no hinge at all, it's just the peg. So it would rotate with the helmet 360 and give you some attitude. With the helmet, but that's about it. I'm gonna keep the helmet on now. Rotates at the shoulders 360, no bicep, like I said, double jointed elbows, a little tight in there. And again, her armor is bulky, so it's not gonna give you the range of, say, a thinner character would, but she does have double jointed elbows, so that's kind of impressive still to me. Uh, wrist, oh, and her arms, she's not gonna give you much T. None at all. Wrist rotation with horizontal hinges. For her abs, she's got that top. It's just got the one piece of articulation, but it will allow you to rotate. It's going to give you a little forward, a little back. Not much at all. Ooh. Despite, she can give you the full kicks. Like her crotch is nearly on the ground. Foot goes for it that much. Goes back not at all. Double jointed knee. If this wasn't so bulky, she could probably kick her ass. She does have a, a thigh cut as well. And for the foot, not very much articulation at all. I feel like there's a rocker there, which there is. It's just not going to let you do much. But there's a allows you to pivot her ankle. So I'm going to stand her back there. I'm going to keep her helmet on. 
Let me get her height for you guys. Slightly above six inches. Raise the camera just a wee bit. Bring out the review crew. So she's shorter than Vixen, and that means she's also going to be shorter than Andra. And all of them are made by Mattel. That's awesome. Next up, let's just compare her to the tall boys. And a fourth Mattel figure, which is Titus O'Neil. And then Roadblock. She's shorter than both. Lando. And John Jones. She's in the middle. Shorter than John, taller than Lando. Devin and Lucio again in the middle <coughs> slightly shorter than Devin taller than Lucio and a final size comparison with the review crew it's going to be Winston Zedmore and Killmonger and again she is in the middle taller than Zedmore Shorter than Killmonger. Overall, I enjoy this figure. Uh, her armor makes her, her articulation a little bit difficult, especially in the top half of her body. But I think she looks cool. I prefer her with her without her helmet. But her helmet looks cool as well. Anyway, folks, that was this figure review for Izzy Hawthorne. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you hitting that like button, hitting that comment button. Well, and typing a comment and hitting that subscribe button. Have you seen Lightyear? I have not seen the movie. I have only seen like maybe four or five. I think I've seen like six Pixar movies and four of them were Toy Story. So yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Toy Story films. I've seen A Bug's Life and I've seen uh, Brave and that might be it. Anyway, folks, action figures speak louder than words.